My name is Sam Shinsky. I'm a steward with the Emirates Racing Authority. I've been here for three full seasons and uh, prior to that I worked at Racing Victoria. Uh, well, we have five tracks here in the UAE, so we generally have three race meetings. Uh, you could say we start off at Abu Dhabi on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays in the office where we work closely with our other departments in the entries and declaration process, and then anything that might come up, uh, you know, preparing for the meetings. But if we have time, we like to have a bit of a putting comp as well, so that's a bit of good fun. Well, I guess my interest in racing came through my brother Ben, who's a farrier. Um, but then the interest in racing just developed, or oh, in stewarding, I guess, just developed over time. Uh, the more I got to know about the industry, and uh, I got a traineeship through Racing New South Wales. Well, we had an exchange student who said he'd like to sell ice creams in the Caribbean, so that would have been pretty good, but I don't think it would pay the bill. So for me, I love my golf. I think being a uh, a sports commentator or a golf commentator uh, talking about the best golfers playing the best courses would be a pretty cool job. Probably uh, some that I shouldn't but uh, um, one that comes to mind is uh, we did some out of competition testing down in the stable in the desert and David Sykes uh, was in there testing a horse and he was getting thrown from one side to the other so I said look forget about it we'll get we'll get a different horse and when we were leaving the trainer came up to Dave and said he was proud of his efforts because the horse hadn't had a saddle on its back for two years. I'd say being on track, um, watching the racing live, you know, like any sport, being there watching it live is better than sitting at home watching it on TV. I'd say, I'd say penalising uh, people. Um, it's obviously a major aspect of the job that we do. We, we don't enjoy it, but it's, uh, it's important, and uh, I think if you take a fair and consistent approach, you get the right outcome. I love the weather. I think uh, summer's beautiful, but I think the range of people that you meet, you know, there's people from all over the world, and uh, it's a great place to meet new people. No, no, I think, I don't believe in this. Just because you wear a certain shirt, or you draw a certain gait, or you say a certain phrase, something's gonna happen, nah, I'm not into that. I'd say it's a jockey down in Melbourne called Chris Simons. He's always playing practical jokes if it's putting food into jockey's boots or whatever, but he, one day he got one of the stewards, he had him convinced that he had a phone in the jockey's room. The steward went in and searched his bag and was pretty proud of himself when he found it, only to realise it was a toy phone and the other jockeys were all watching. So yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> 2009 Melbourne Cup, I got to lead in the winning horse, Shocking. But I'd have to say it was last year's World Cup, um, and not because of a particular horse winning, but because my, my mum was here and some of my family members. So for them to experience World Cup week, and I guess understand why I decided to move here, it was, it was a special week. Uh, probably the horse that got me into racing, it was a grey horse trained by John O'Shea called Racing to Win. I'd have to say John Zuckel, wouldn't I? <laughs> Oh, here, Maidan headquarters, it's, uh, it's a fantastic venue. We've got two good tracks, obviously the turf track's fantastic. Um, and, you know, it puts UAE racing on the, on the world stage. So I fell in love with the place when I first came here about six years ago. By rule racing. Uh, I think uh, any, anything to do with cruelty to animals, I'd want to see very harsh penalties. I just can't, I can't accept that. The ability to tell when people are talking rubbish, I guess. <laughs> and then to be able to call them on it. I guess mum's cooked for the majority of my life and I haven't had a bad meal yet, so maybe a chicken dumpling soup. Well, I, I thought long and hard about this and I, I thought to myself, well, I've done a lot of long car trips with people, so I'd like to do one by myself where I can turn up the Taylor Swift music and not be judged for it.